Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley and I am a professional hairstylist and I love doing these videos to help you guys learn. Also too, if you guys are new, like I said, make sure that you subscribe and also hit that bell button for more videos. So today we're gonna be working on my client. Now it's been a while since she's been in. I wanna say she came in the last time right before quarantine, so the beginning of March. And as you guys could see, she's got some blonde at the bottom and then she's got her natural new growth growing out up on top. So I'm just gonna start sectioning off the hair and I usually work in four quadrants and then we're gonna go ahead and mix up the colors. So really quickly, I wanna show you guys my new bowls. These are from Color Track. I'm super happy with them. I love that they're clear, and also too, it says that they're stainless, so I will go ahead and link them down below for you guys in the description box if you guys wanna check those out, especially if you're a hairstylist. But I'm actually going to be using Pravana for today, and I'm going to be using Pravana Level 5, which is a light brown. And the cool thing about Pravana is they only have one line. Uh, it's not like any kind of like matrix or redkin. Usually the way that you will tell if it's it's like a demi or semi-permanent is using the developer so I'm only going to be using a demi which is a 10 volume today now the reason why I'm using this level 5 is because we don't want to go too too dark on her usually Pravana always carries a little bit more darker so that's why I'm sticking to a level 5 but I'm also going to be mixing up some of my blonde me now this is the freehand lightener I like this one and I'm going to be using her um, using it with a 20 volume So I'm just going to be starting off in the back and I'm actually going to darken up the base first. Now I guess you could call this a root male is pretty much what we're doing and then we'll go in with some of the baby lights afterwards just to brighten her up all around. But this is going to be kind of like a regular retouch. So as you guys can see, I'm just going to go in and start hitting the scalp kind of like a retouch and then I will get a comb and I like to always drag it down.
So now to drag down this color a little bit, I'm going to be using my Wow Comb. If you guys have one of these, these, this thing works amazing. I know that Wow Comb actually used to have an Instagram, but for some reason I cannot find them anymore. But I'm pretty sure that you can buy one of these on Amazon. And I will also too link that in the description box. All right, so now I'm going to be adding some of the baby lights all throughout the hair. Now, I wish I could have filmed the back, and I thought I was, but unfortunately, my phone was not even recording, so I thought I would show you guys the front. So I'm just going to be taking some sections, and I'm going um, directly across. Now, I'm going to be doing a couple of baby lights, and I'm going to be back combing. Now, the reason for this is because I want to have still dimension, but I just want to brighten her up a little bit, and we're not going to be taking it too high. So that's why I'm back combing because that back comb is going to give me that cushion and it's going to let me know on where to stop. And this exact technique that I am using right here in the front, I did all around the head. And so just keep in mind that it's about maybe about 20% left of the hair that I left out. And a lot of it I did baby light because I do want her to be a little bit more brighter. She hasn't been in a long time, especially since March. So we want to brighten up her blonde at the bottom.
So now for toner, I'm going to be using Redken Shade DQ, my go-to, and I'm going to be using a 9N and a 9V, also two with the Redken Shades EQ Processing Solution. Now the reason why I'm using a 9N is because my client does want her balayage to look a little bit more neutral, and also too, that violet in the 9V is going to cancel any yellow that lifted in her hair. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I like this because I really am happy that we went a little bit more darker on her base because it looks a little bit more contrasted and it brings out her eyes a lot more and also too at the bottom, her blonde just looks a lot more brighter. But I will see you guys in my next video.